Okay, so before the video starts, I just want to point out, I made a tweet earlier to this morning uh, talking about the 5th anniversary of DDLC, and uh, I tweeted the Dan Zavato and Team Zavato saying thank you for making such a huge, patch, a huge impact on the, uh, my life with this game, like I'm going to talk about in this video, and both Dan Zavato and Team Zavato both like the tweet. That's absolutely amazing. Well, alright, hello YouTube, my name is WebBoy569, and welcome back to another video. Now, today, uh, I apologize for another video, and I apologize if the camera always where I have a tripod up and I'm lowering it down because I've seen people do this type of uh, uh, camera angle before, and I wanted to see how it goes. Yes, I did get a haircut as much as I talked about in my last video, but today is another story time with Wild Boy, or whatever you want to call it, uh, because this is a story. Uh, today is September 22nd, 2020, 2022, and today, five years ago, one of my favorite games of all time, Doki Doki Literature Club, was released today, uh, five years ago in 2017. Uh, basically, I'm going to tell the story about how, a uh, more updated story about how I found this game, uh, the uh, impact that got, gave me, the, the impact that lasted on me the last two years I found this game, and show off some of the stuff I have, uh, in general. So, anyway, like I said, DDLC is one of my favorite games of all time. I would say my top five favorite games. Um, you know, I didn't find it right away. Right away. Uh, the game came out. In September 22nd, 2022, I just started my first year, first semester of college. I just got out of high school, and I didn't know anything about it at all until I saw it, a couple of videos when it, when it started getting popular, started trending on YouTube, uh, back in the, like in December 2017, uh, early January 2018, people were doing Let's Plays and all that around that time, that's when it started to blow up, and, um, but... Basically, I did not find, I was maybe seen something like the Steam page, or saw a video about it, somebody ever subscribed to him, just like, oh, this is weird, I'm not going to enter that. And then, um, two years later, I refounded the game, again, because I was bored. Because when I first found, when I first heard of the game, they said it was like a horror game, but it didn't look like a horror game. But I went, and then uh, I just kind of rolled my eyes and just shrugged it off, thinking, oh, okay, I'm not going to deal with this. I didn't know I did it, because at the time I was recording videos on a shitty laptop. And I didn't have any good editing software or a good camera microphone and all that and all that. So, but I came across the game again in 2020 during the COVID pandemic when everything was shut down. And I was trying to find videos, uh, games to play for my YouTube channel. And I'm like, what can I play to, that's honestly, because that was back when I was like making, living off $200 a month. And I'm like, okay, I got to find something, maybe something that's free or something on that. And I'm like, wait, was there like a game that looked like a fun dating sim that was a horror game, so I went to look for it, and it was called Doki Doki Literature Club, and it was cute, friendly, looked like an anime dating sim, but it said psychological horror visual novel, I said, okay, let's give this a go, because people, I asked people what about it, they said, just play the game, do not look at spoilers, do not look anything about it until you play the game 100%, so I said, okay, I'll do a let's play of this and see how it goes, so I did three videos back in July, or June or July, I think it was June 2020, right after I turned 21, and I, um, I, I did three parts of the video, uh, three let's plays of the game. Those are long gone now, but, um, I did uh, play it. I did not get into the horror part because I saw, I watched the act two when I started doing this, uh, horror shit, uh, the horror stuff on that. That's when I follow videos doing that. So I played the first half of the game not knowing what I was getting into, and then I decided to, you know, watch the videos on it after, before I did the horror stuff. So I didn't experience the horror stuff until after I watched the videos and did it myself. So that was off camera. So, and then, like, I looked it up after I played the game, and then I saw endings. You know, the, the original normal ending where Monica delete, where you delete Monica, and she already becomes the president, and everything gets deleted. Monica deletes everything. It deletes the game and all that. And there was another ending that I saw on the Wikipedia page that, you know, it said, so you're real, thank you for playing. And, you know, she loves you. They all love you. And, you know, the end credits with no pictures getting deleted. And you get the letter from Dan Zavato, who created Doki Doki Literature Club. And I said, okay, I'm going to look at them and just see what it's about. So I went to go find a video on it. And, you know, there was a different ending because, you know, Sior is like, thank you for, you know, spending time with, with the others. You've saved and loaded so many times, you know. This is where we say goodbye. Thank you for playing DD Doki Doki Literature Club. Come back and see us and we always love you. I'm like, damn, that's going to make me cry. Surely enough, and I broke down crying. Uh, but I wish I did that for the first time on camera and just give you my thoughts on it. And then I saw in that ending, when 
And the normal ending, when the end credits roll, the pictures to get deleted. But if you get that ending, none of the nothing gets deleted. The pictures stay all the way through, and then you get the letter uh, from Dan Savato giving you praising you for getting the ending and talking about you know his opinion on the games and video games in general and all that. And you know, and so I kind of liked when I first saw that. You know, I burst it into tears because I never. How do I say? You know, I never. I, I mean, you know, I've heard songs and I played. Uh, mo watch movies and hear songs, listen to songs that um, made me cry and, you know, made me teary eye and all that, but there was nothing like this game, you know, that completely made me lose my shit, lose all my eyes out to where I couldn't even concentrate, you know, couldn't even talk. And so I went to see that, read the letter and all that. And so that's when I said, I, you know, that's when I absolutely lost the written letter and I felt bad because I saw fan art of people of Monica getting deleted and, you know, hugging the, pro the player, saying goodbye and be like, I gotta go, you know, I've always loved you, you know, and then you, re you reality, that's when I bawled my eyes out. And so that's, you know, even talking about it, you know, it's just, you know, it's stupid. But, you know, I want to think it's stupid knowing that I cried over a freaking, a freaking game. Of fictional girls, you know, it's weird because, you know, if I played like Honey Pop, I was expecting to kind of be like Honey Pop, to be honest, but it was completely nothing like that. And the fact, you know, it's just, you know, tear, I know in the video you could almost see me get teary eyed when Stuart talked about the depression, her depression, and all that, and uh, all that. So, and then, um, but, and that's, and then I'm, I started getting attention to the game, I downloaded it on my computer. And I'm like, you know, I wanted to see some, find, you know, some merch on it and all that. See if there's any other stuff I can maybe, you know, there's a DDLC store oh, where you can buy plushes, posters, uh, stickers, and all that stuff. And, uh, I, uh, and so one day, uh, I wasn't even thinking about the DDLC. Uh, my sister lived here at the time and she was going with her friend out and about going shopping. I had like, surprisingly, I had about $400. Because that was back when I got approved for disability, and I was living off, and I could do live under four hundred dollars a month. And I asked if I can go with them to do it. like, no, you're not going. I'm like, well, okay. So I went back to my room. My mom knocked on my door, say, hey, if you want to go to town, uh, we can, I'll take you to town where you want to go. So I said, okay, I want to go to the mall, check out Hot Topic or Spencer's and all that. Um, I went to Hot Topic first just to see what they're about. Uh, I didn't find anything in there, so I went to Spencer's. You know, maybe found a new shirt and all that. And I found three shirts. I found this shirt, the Monica Delete shirt. I then I found another just Monica shirt, and then I found a Nazi Key uh, Play With Me shirt. So I got those, because I got the I got I had one of those um uh, things where you can buy four buy four uh, four shirts, you get one for free. So I had two in there, and I got one for free, and then I got one of them for free, and then I while I was checking out, I saw this hat, the DDLC hat, and I'm like, oh, I gotta get that hat. And then, so, I ended up doing that. I also have another hat. The, uh, let me go get it. I also have this hat right here. The delete shirt. And I also have the wallet as well. Ooh, I also have the wallet as well. But, yeah, I found this. This is the Spencer's exclusive as well. The Monica Delete Me wallet. And I also have my other wallet that they released not that long ago. If I could find it. I don't know where it went off to, but it's a, um... It's kind of like, kind of like the hat, you know, the, uh, I don't know where it went off to, but anyway, it says Doki Doki Literature Club, and it shows the characters like this in the, on the back, if I can find it, but I'm not too worried about that right now, so I ended up getting that, I didn't get it at that same time, but, I'm gonna look weird like that, but, um, so what I did, I got those, and then when I put my money into my bank account, bank account I thought, um, you know, let's go see if we can find any other merch, you know, we get like plushes or something, and I, first thing I ever got was the Siri Pillow plush, and I got that, and then the very next day, I got a Siori plush, and I also have a DDLC journal somewhere, and I had a pin, but I ended up lost, losing the pin when I cleaned up my room, and then I went and threw my, I started getting 200 bucks a month because I was, because it was during Christmas, around the holidays were about to come up, and so I'm like, okay, you know, I'll go to the casino with my parents see if I win. I ended up winning the next 200 bucks, so I had 400 bucks this month. So what I did, I ended up getting the Natsuki pillow along, yeah, the Natsuki pillow, and I got um, this Seor poster right there, 
the Yuri poster, and the Monica poster you see right there. So I ended up getting that, and at that time it cost me like 80-something dollars altogether. And then, um, and I was playing Monica After Story, an up mod where you bring Monica Black back and you spend time with her and she gets her happy ending. And so I, you know, just playing that game was just like, I was just feeling, I was just crying, just feeling so emotional. So what I did, I ended up buying a Monica plush. Because knowing that, at the time I'm thinking, oh, if I have Monica with me in plush form, that means she's with me forever. So, and then, Christmas came around, I waited till the first of the year to get some stuff. So what I did at the first of the year... Uh, what they happened, the original DDLC store got down, it was on a website called For Fans by Fans, and they had a thing to where, oh, uh, you have a contest of who, voting for best girl, and whoever won the best girl contest, you get like 30% off any product that has the winner of the best girl contest. Surely enough, who was surprisingly the winner? Natsuki, best girl, in my opinion, uh, my favorite girl. So what I did, I got her, and then I also did an unboxing video, and at the same time, I got Natsuki... And then I got Yuri. And then towards... And then I didn't get anything toward, until my 22nd birthday. Until I... Oh, by the way, there's my wallet. Before I forget, there's my wallet I'm using now. Like that. So anyway, towards my 22nd birthday, I ended up getting a Monica pillow plush. And then, when I got my job at the shoe store, I ended up buying not only this wallet... Uh, Spencer's didn't have it in store or the website, but I've been wanting to get this wallet for a while, and I found it on eBay for about 20 bucks. I said, I'm going to get that. And then, along as well, I went back to the uh, DDLC store and got the Yuri Pillow Plush. So now I have all the Pillow Plushes and the Plushes. Now, the ones I want to get is the Nidric Plushes you got for DDLC Plus. So, I want to get those, but I want to get them all at the same time, if that makes sense. I don't want to buy them separate one month, one separate a month. I want to get them all at one time. I looked it up. Uh, if I get all at the moment, it's like 120 bucks. So, and then I was so excited when Doki Doki Electric Club Plus was announced because it would also get digital and physical releases. Uh, the digital release came out June 30th. It was supposed to be at the same time the DDS, also the physical copy was going to come out. It got delayed to August 31st. And then closed about halfway through August, it got delayed to September 23rd, 1st or 3rd. It got delayed again. Delay October 8th. I thought to like, this is fucking stupid. It's getting delayed and delayed until it's probably going to get delayed into 2022. But no, it came out October 8th. And uh, I said, you know what? I'm going to pick me up two copies. Uh, I pre-ordered first the Nintendo Switch version. But I ended up getting the first of the, uh, the uh, PS4 version. Because I went to Walmart to get it. And they didn't have it. Luckily, there was a GameStop right next door. So I said, hey, do you got DLC Plus on PS4? They got it. I did an unboxing video. I did it on a piece of shit computer. Uh, I had the camera down, like this towards my stomach, and it was like, you should not like that, you're gonna understand it. So that box video was nothing, so I did an overview on that. And then I was supposed to get this the same day it came out, but I got stuck at a train station somewhere down down north, down south. And then I ended up getting it the very next day. But that's okay, I ended up getting it, no delays or nothing, besides one day later, but that's okay. But anyway. Uh, also, there's a lot of goodies in this. Let me show you. You get the same stuff, and the main reason I wanted to get the physical plot fissure because it's a physical game, and I like physical media. But, I wanted to, um, there was a lot of goodies in there. Like I said, for example, not only you get the dip, you get the cartridge, or like the, uh, you get the disc, for example, which is a beautiful disc. I don't have it on PS5 because I don't have a PS5, even two years after it being, being released. Uh, still, still can't find anywhere. But like, you get a lot of goodies you can sell. Like for example, you get the um, the Metaverse card. You get your own membership of that soundtrack code on the floppy disk. Uh, stickers, standable stick figurines, and of course you get a poem from the wonderful Monica called Control. And it's a uh, you know the satisfaction of control. You know my hands. You know. Really cool, you get an actual poem. And it's the same thing for every single thing. And also, that's what it looks like with that. And you wonder where's Monica? You got Sayori, Natsuki, and Yuri, and behind the cart just is Monica. You know. And I've also played, uh, also, I want to talk about mods because it seems like I played more mods on the uh, channel than I've done with actual DDSD, and unfortunately, that is true. But, um, so I played the first mod I ever played. Uh, uh, DDLC was Doki Doki Exit Music because that's because Natsuki was slowly becoming one of uh, my favorite characters and she and became my favorite character. 
and it was called Exit Music. Basically, that game you were free not you uh, help not to get escape from your of home, and you go you get out with her, and it has a terrible ending. And then I had to play Monica after story. Uh, basically, you bring Monica back. I only did one video, but I played it for like three months. And then I ended up playing a mod called Doki Doki Blue Skies, which just was a, a month prior to when I made it. And basically, you get to, you may have the same, you get, it's uh, basically an actual romance visual novel, meaning you can uh, get together with Chiori, uh, Monica, not Monica, Chiori, Monica, uh, Yuri, and Natsuki. Uh, you know, but there's no horror stuff because with Monica, you, there's no route for her, but they also made it on the special edition. The special, if you do unlock, finish the game full completion, you also get uh, a little bit side story with Monica. And you know, but so I played that for a while because it's a very long game because you have three different routes with Mon uh, Tsuyori, Natsuki, and Yuri. Uh, they have both good and bad endings because uh, I know with the Tsuyori ending, you guys get together and she gets the help that she needs, and you guys live forever. You guys live happily ever after, happy ending. Uh, not, however, you have the bad ending on that route. Sori ends up killing herself, and uh, the main character, MC. Uh, this base, fuck you girls, I'm done with the literature club and all that. Um, and then Natsuki, there's a couple, the main bad ending for that is Natsuki gets killed by her dad, but in the good ending, Natsuki ends up staying with you for a while, forever. Uh, in the Yuri ending, Yuri ends up dying. I don't know how, I think she kills herself or something like that, but in the good ending, Yuri goes to therapy and you guys go see a fireworks show. Very cool. And then, like I said, I have, and then I played, um, I have a short little mod called Siori as an adult, meaning that in that game, um, MC falls into a coma for seven years and Siori is an adult, all adult, and uh, but and he, and he tries to retrace his steps, uh, finding other members of the club, or uh, trying to get his degree and try to go to college and all that. And then I played an updated version of Exit Music called Exit Music Redux, meaning it's a longer story and better, more stuff to it. I was gonna play that full all the way through, but the um, my files on the computer get deleted. So, I, you know, I thought about playing DDLC all the way through on one video, but I was like, that would take too long. Uh, I wanted to do a Let's Play of DDLC. I was going to do it on my Nintendo Switch, but, you know, I don't have gaming computers, so I may buy it on the P uh, buy it on PC and play it all the way through and get the side stories. I've already played the side stories. And, you know, when I played the side stories, there's six side stories, and I thought, you know, if I... You know, I said, I'm going to play these side stories, and I'm not going to cry through it. There was, been time, there was almost a time, a couple of times where I almost burst out crying. And so when I got to the epilogue, epilogue uh, story, you know, to get the end credits, you know, so uh, uh, made by Dan Sabato, you know, thank you so-and-so for, for helping me develop this game. And at the very end, it says, thank you, dear player, for enjoying our French story, our friendship with literature. And like, God damn it, that's going to make me fucking lost it again. No, but anyway, that, up until now, that is pretty much... My entire DDX, DDLC experience up until now. You know, it's been two years since I found the game. The game's been out for half a decade now. And it's just, you know, it's made such a huge impact on my life. You know, I've seen stories and art Reddit articles saying that this game, this game saved people from suicide. You know, this game, you know, and you know, not, not changed me, but you know, it helped me, you know, become a better person, learn from my mistakes, know if I'm right or wrong, helping me be kind to others, helping me try to better who I am, but, you know, I never thought what started out as a free little game could make such a huge pack on some, on, made on somebody, you know, and, you know, I felt bad because I went to read, um, I, w I watched a pa uh, panel of Dan Savato at PAX in Seattle, and he was talking about, you know, the characters and how much, I guess, after the game was released, he started going through some really serious mental health issues, and, you know, talking about that. You know, because people were just stretching out. People were like, oh, we need marriage and all this stuff, for example. But, so we ended up, you know, helping him become a better person, which was really great. And, uh, you know, I've seen stuff, you know, people, you know, it's just, you know, amazing. Like, some, you know, it's people always, you know, you know, people, most people don't realize that, like, a game, whether it be a game, a movie, a song, or a band, you know, like, that can make such a huge impact on you in such a good way. And, you know, but, and that's what it did for me, you know. But I think that's pretty much it up until now. Uh, but yeah, and then it, like I said at the beginning of the video, I made a tweet on Twitter today, and I said, you know, thank you to Dan Savato and Team Savato for making such a huge impact on my life with this game. This game means so much to me, and you know, both Dan Savato and Team Savato who made the game uh, also liked the tweet. So very, very cool. And I got proof of that. You saw in the video. But other all, I just want to say, you know, 
hopefully this video isn't too long. Once again, I want to thank Dan Savato and the people over at Team Savato for making such an incredible game and making a game that's such, made such a huge impact on my life. Like I said, if you haven't played the game or DDLC Plus, I recommend it. It's a fun game. And, you know, it make, you know it changes people's lives. And, you know, it changed mine in a good way. I never thought that before. But, anyway, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry if I rambled too much about, you know, pe you know people probably won't care to see this video. But, you know, hopefully it means a lot to you. Knowing how much a game can impact on somebody. Whether it be a movie or a song and all that. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, check out my social medias down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.